Hello Lions, this is Mrs. Lambert, your librarian at Reedy High School, and I just want to show you some um, options that you have for your summer reading, and I want to show you how you can best utilize these to the full extent. So you can go to ReedyLibrary.com and click right down here on the Mac and Via link, or you can just go straight to MacInvia.com on your browser. And if you're on a, any kind of mobile device, a phone, a tablet of any kind, anything where there's apps, you can download the free MacInvia app. You can actually see it right here on this picture. Um, this is the free MacInvia app. And so once you download the app, you can also get the books that I'm about to show you through the app. You can also do it through your browser um, on any computer or device with internet, okay? So you're going to put in here Reedy High School, and then you're going to put in your six-digit ID and your eight-digit birthday to log into Mac and Via. If you are a new Reedy High School student user, you will be able to start using our Mac and Via definitely by July 1st. So our Pioneer and Pearson kiddos that are coming in, you guys can start using this um, as of July 1st. So you're going to click log in. And once you are logged into Mac and Via, I'm going to show you how to locate the books that you need for summer reading. So you can um, come up here and it's going to search resources. And let's say you are going to be reading um, the book Asher Lev. Okay, so right here you'll be you'll be able to see how many copies are available. Now we only have 51 copies of this book, so there's 51 copies, and once those are all checked out, we we don't have any more. But 51 copies is quite a bit. So any of you that are reading Asher Love, this is um, a book that's in here. The rest of the summer reading books, so Anthem for instance is a multi-user book. So every single RHS student can check out and use Anthem at any time, okay? So Anthem is here. We also have Walden. I'm gonna scroll down. Walden. Uh, this one right here, the one that says Mac and Classics, Walden, and on the duty of civil disobedience, this is the one you're going to use if you're doing um, Walden. So that one is here. The one that I'm going to show you is actually one that I already have checked out. And so I'm going to show you how this works, okay? So Fred, the narrative, narrative of Frederick Douglass is one that we have for you guys to use and it's this one right here now i already have this book checked out so you'll notice the checkout button says renew for me so once you are ready to check out a book you click right here on checkout and then that book will be checked out to you your checkouts are going to be available up here in your backpack so i'm going to go to my checkouts and you'll see i have two books checked out right now so this book i can open up this Frederick Douglass book and I can come in here and I can make annotations. Now any of the annotations that you make in any of these books will be available to you even if you don't have the book checked out anymore. So you check out the book, you make some annotations and let's say you want to come back and check it out again later and make some more annotations, you don't finish it or you want to go back and do something later. Um, whatever the case may be, you can um, do all of that at any point. So you can check it out, do stuff, return it, check it out again, do more stuff, return it, and all that will just continue to add to your um, notes. So I'm gonna come in here and let's say that I'm on this page right here. Okay, so what you can do is you can come here and you can highlight, let's say I wanna highlight this, uh, this this little bit of text right here. Okay, so I'm highlighting and I want to make an annotation. So I can use the dictionary here. I can highlight, I can add a note. So I'm going to highlight it and you can pick what color you want. So let's say you're going to use blue for all of your, um, you're going to use blue for all of your, uh, you know, personification or whatever. So you can come here and you can make a note and you can say example of personification okay then you can save it okay you can keep reading and then let's say I want to highlight this right here and I want to say I want to make this purple and I want to add a note that says uh, you know uh, 
illusion. Okay, and so I'm going through and I'm making some annotations. Let's say I want to highlight this and I want to say like, um, you know, great example of character trait for this character. So you can add in whatever kinds of notes you want. You can highlight, go through, okay? So this is all going to be in here, okay? You can also, um, let's see if I can make this so you can see it up here. There we go. So you can also come in here and you can add a bookmark, okay? So you can bookmark this page. You can bookmark any, any page, okay? And then up here in your notebook, you'll be able to see anywhere where you placed a bookmark, okay? And you'll also be able to see all of your notes, okay? And then you can come in here and you can edit it. Like if you want to delete, oh, I want to take this note out or whatever, you can do that here. So you can see your bookmarks and you can see your notes and that's right up here in your notebook, okay? So now I'm going to go out of this book. And so I don't, you can't, you can't see my navigation bar down here. Let me let me try and expand my little box here for you. There we go. So down here, you can see all your navigation tools for the book, turning the pages, jumping to different parts, your table of contents. Um, all your tools are down here. So I'm going to close the book now. And I'm going to go back to my um, Mac and Via account. OK. So now, if I go up to my backpack and I go right here to my notebook, all of my annotations are also going to be here in my notebook. And you'll see that I have annotations for Romeo and Juliet and Things Fall Apart. I no longer have these books checked out, but I can still go in and see my notes and my annotations. So the same thing for this one. When I'm done and it's no longer checked out to me, I'll still be able to see my annotations up here in my backpack under my notebook. Now the other cool thing that you can do is I can click on this book and it's going to show me all of my notes and my highlights here, which I can also go in and edit at this point if I want to. Okay, I can edit here and see this little button right here that says export notes. I can go in here and I can save all of these notes to my Google Drive. And you can do this at any point. So let's say you check out the book and you do some annotations in June. And then you go back in July and you check it out again and you do a few more annotations. Then you go back in in September when you're in class and you do some more. So then over here in my Google Drive, my narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass and American Slave Notes are right here. So I can open up my notes and it's going to tell me the title of the book, the author, a little summary, how many pages are in the book, and then it's going to put all of my notebook entries as well in here. And it's going to tell me when I edited these notes, when was the last time I edited them, and all that stuff. So any anytime you go in and you make additional notes, you can export it at any time and just it'll make a new document and you can just throw away the, the old one if you want or whatever. Um, so this is a great resource for our Reedy Lions who are doing summer reading. And if you have any questions over the course of the summer about this, please feel free to email me, lambertn at friscoisd.org. I'll be checking my email all summer long. And if you have any questions, just email me and I'll be happy to help. All right, Lions, I hope this is helpful and I hope it saves your parents a little money.